location. Doing a little camping. Started out at Clinton Lake here in Illinois. Our ground on our electrical pole made our GFI thing turn red. Come to find out I had a ground wire that popped off. So got that fixed. Got through that weekend. Went home, restocked. Came all the way down to Carlisle Lake, about a hundred and some mile, almost three hour drive, pulling a camper. And put it on our side over there. And blew the breaker every time you plugged in. Blue, blue, blue. Called the guys. I guess the big boss man came down, campground director. He couldn't figure it out. Tried to do a few things to it. Cause we moved across the street to this empty one. And it worked fine there. He kept saying, well, it might be your camper. So they put us on that site <laughs> Monday night. And they gave us credit for Monday. Let us. We told them we just wanted to stay an extra day. They didn't have to give us money back. So I got set up on here. Well, then, lo and behold, the next day the electrician comes over and said he fixed the other one. Well, then they said, we're holding up this two sites, so we need to get moved again back to the other one. They just want to put us clear up by the hose. We said, no, nah, we ain't doing that. We didn't drive this far to get, get that kind of hosing. So then we had to turn around and move back over there. Today's Wednesday. So between Monday and Wednesday, we moved like three times. So anyway, we're fixed there. So we're there Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> oh, I tell you, what a mess. On the way down here. This complainer's air conditioner bearing went out, broke the belt, car started overheating. Well, thankfully, we had just left Catfish Connection in Payne, Illinois. It only went a couple blocks up the road to a gas station. Shut it off, opened the hood, and seen the belt was broke. Uh, went a couple blocks down the road to AutoZone. Got a new serpentine belt, shorter belt, to bypass the uh, AC. Got that going, got back down here. She was pulling the boat, I was pulling the camper. Oh man, it rained last night, storm. Other than that, <laughs> other than that, we're on vacation, trying to relax. Old boy up the hill, sitting there, eating his breakfast or something. Oh, this is a cove, a 25,000 acre lake. He's a big one. You can barely see the trees on the other side. And it's about five miles long to the north. And we're getting ready to take the kids to the beach. Went to the pool yesterday. They got a pool up at the campground store. Coming down here to make sure ain't drain the water out of the boat from the storms. Oh. First come down here in 2004. Been coming down here every now and then. Come down here two years ago. That's when our camper got hit by, by a car. T-bone our camper and tore it all to pieces. Toad Meister, my boy, he's 16. He was swimming out here when he was five years old. I think I got a video way back, put a link down here to it. He was swimming with an eight pound catfish out here. <laughs> I had on a stringer. Seen a lot of groundhogs out here too. Two years ago, we saw some skunks. They said they had to get, relocate them. They were getting too comfortable coming up to everybody. Interesting trees down here by the water. I'm pretty sure that uh, piece of carpet was here in 2004. <laughs> I know it was here two years ago. <sighs> it's a really nice campground. A lot of old growth. We haven't seen them today. There's two, three, or three, four, two, three or four groundhogs running around yesterday, <sighs> running in and out of the culverts. And I was standing up here and I seen one 
he was on his hind legs standing under my boat rope looking at it like he's he gonna steal my boat there's a hole another hole I think there's one right there too he took off that way we seen I don't know how many yesterday they was up here by this guy dog was chasing him around another neat little tree she's hanging on for dear life <sighs> must have had a pretty good storm here not too long ago too quite a few storms actually that tree's broke off but it's all dead the leaves are brown there was one laying across one of the turn ins to the camp store that was green as could be so that had to have been oh probably within the last few days or a week they got it cleaned up today or cleaned up monday when we was here <sighs> get some shots of the beach next I care he did has been on that right around that light for two days now he was even up there when i when we had to move the camper across the street i went up to the dump station and dumped while i was hooked up and he never even fell off he got it done playing bacon they're using rocks because it's windy for cane pieces <laughs> where's the other one in the bathroom again uh no figure sometime we should actually make all the food get real food yeah. to play in the game instead of fake food <laughs> there used to be a primitive toilet right here they tore it down filled in the hole you can see the new grass they're putting brand new ones they're putting them along the, the trail this time so there is no toilets out here except for your own camper <laughs> There's Miss Complainer down there. They're trying to figure something out. Kids come out here two years ago. The little one lost his shoes in the mud in this cove. Little beach right there. I think it was, that, it was either 2004 or 2005 we come out here. There was a bass boat sunk, sticking up, nose was sticking up out of the water. Found his tackle box floated in here. Neat, neat little tree. That must be the only thing holding that dirt mound in. Have you ever been a chewing on that? Something. Yeah, she's complaining about the boat now. Yeah, I would put the boat over here. It looks like it's deep enough. We got main waves coming in. The little break walls ain't quite closed up enough. The wind's coming right out of the, across the lake. Has been for the last two days. Nice little beach. Well, I mean, it ain't nice. Swimming beach. Sand. Joseph got buried here by his brick brother when he was five. Now Josh is getting buried. We have packed it down without food. That's what your brother did. We did to you. We had like a big mound over. We packed it all down. You couldn't even move. We just put like a helmet over his head so we could. You gonna attempt to break out of his tomb? <laughs> is it heavy? You guys shredded my legs down. Heavy? <laughs> Can't even lift his legs up. <laughs> Can he scoot back? I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> my legs 
we'd have got about five, six more inches on your chest, you would have been able to get out of there. I don't think. I think we had to dig Joseph out. <laughs> he was only he was only about five when we buried him. <laughs> that was eleven years ago. Two thousand twelve. That's when you swam with that catfish. He's out. <laughs> Grave. <laughs> look at these. Look at these legs. Yeah. Just go get in the water. Go get in the water. You'll get off of it. <laughs> huh? Big old blue That's good eating right there. I wish we could catch that one. Well, what's in here? Turtle. Oh, <laughs> crayfish. <laughs> Who cooks for you? If you're a mouse, they are. See, read it. Red tail hawk. That's what we see on the top of telephone poles all the time. Dude, pelicans are huge. Huh? Look at the eagle, 88 inches. What was this? Something for the damn size monitor. It's the same. Literally a splitting image of my snake. I'm telling you, man, I think he's good. What is it? I don't know. Ready? Snake oh. <laughs> what? Snake skins. Snake skins. She like to bring a bunch of this. Probably off that corn snake. Mystery box. I'm doing it. Dang it! I'm Four snakes again. I did like I said, he told me to. I don't know if it was eggs or something. I don't care if it's snakes again. I'm trying to put on the bee yeah, stuff, but snake. it's actually like actually here. Fred Sanford. Fred Sanford. Just give me the That's a carp. Carp. Yeah. 